Hello and welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. Today in this video you will learn everything about a blog post inside the free Elementor. So as you know we can easily design our blog post grid or carousel inside the pro version. But in this video I will show you how we can design the same layouts using the free version of Elementor. And by everything I mean if you want to have a blog post grid like this or if you want a carousel like this one. Or if you need a blog post list like this a new sticker like this you can scroll it and this will scroll automatically and if you want to display your blog post inside tabs like this or this or if you want to have your post inside the accordions like this or if you need a timeline for your blog post like this where you can display your blog post so all of these can be done with the free version of Elementor with the use of a simple free plugin. So let me show you one by one that how we can design these. Now for designing all of these we need a simple free plugin. Unlimited elements for Elementor. I already have a few videos about this plugin in which we create a blog post grid and a blog post slider. So if you want to know in the detail you can watch my previous video. And in this particular video we are going to focus on all of these elements one by one very quickly just to show you how you can achieve these. So first of all you will have to install Elementor obviously and then you will have to install this plugin. So just copy its name I will provide a link in the description or you can search for unlimited elements. To install that plugin you can go to plugins and add new and here you can search for that plugin. And you will see this plugin unlimited elements for Elementor which is by unlimited elements. So you just need to install this. I already have installed this but I will just update this. And once you install this, this will take you to its dashboard. As you can see there are a number of elements that you can use. For example we have creative widgets, marketing widgets, WooCommerce, dynamic loops and so on. You can check them one by one but in this particular video we are going to focus only on the post widgets. As I showed you we will create different type of post styles inside the free Elementor. And the beauty of this plugin is you don't need to install all of the elements inside your Elementor. You can install only one element at a time or you can install two or three according to your need. For example I need only this post list then I can simply install this only and I will don't have to install all of these. So this is very lightweight and very useful feature of this plugin. Now in order to create all of the first elements we will have to install the first elements that are for free. You can also upgrade to the pro version but that is not necessary. And as you can see this is a first carousel which I already have activated. And to install and activate any of the modules you can simply go to that and click on install. Now we can use this first list. I'll also install this the post sticker, post tabs and post recording. Now we can use these elements inside the free Elementor. So to use this and to show you all of these I will create a new page. And I will write a page title. Something like this. This is just to show you you can use any of your page. You can title it, your page and so on. Then just edit your page with Elementor. Now you can design this page but I'll simply show you the blog post layout and to hide this title we will go to the page setting and we'll change its layout to pull width. And now we have a blank page where we can start designing our blog post. I'll simply create a section and we'll give this some padding. And now to show you one by one I will simply create a heading for the difference. This will be the blog post grid. And to create the first element which is this grid you can simply search for post and you will see this post block. And this is due to the plugin that we just installed so just drag this over here. And as you can see we instantly have that post grid inside the Elementor. Now you can design this according to your need and to design this you can click this and you can change the number of columns to 3 or 4 or something. Let's keep this 3 
you can reduce and you can increase and decrease the spacing the text is aligned to the left side you can align this to center and so on you can change the read more button text here you can change the layout here for example you want to hide the image you want to hide the title and so on you can do it easily you can select your post for example which post you want to display you can display your post pages w forms and so on you can also include specific post by its id or name you can also exclude post and so on i'll not discuss these things in detail because the video will get very lengthy this is just to show you how you can play around the blog post inside the free elementor now to style any of these you can go to the style tab here you can change the box radius for example i want this to be 10 then as you can see the corner got rounded we also can have a border type the background colors images content and inside content we can customize these things we can customize image title and so on let's change the title color so as you can see we have a different color for the title so this is very easy that how you can customize things i'll not go into much detail but this is how you can create a blog post grid and the next one is this blog post carousel and to create this we will again create a heading and this time i'll call this blog post carousel and now to create the carousel we can again search for carousel or post carousel something like this then you will see this card post carousel so just drag this over here and as you can see we have the carousel now that can be controlled by the dots or by the arrows and this will auto scroll also so this is how you can create a carousel again you can customize this according to your need for example you want to change the color the background color the read more button color and so on you can do it easily by going to style tab and designing all of these and all of these things are in the free version of this plugin which is nice so this was how you can create a post slider now let's see how we can create the post list so again we'll go back to elementor let's copy this heading and we will call this blog post list we will search for the list and as you can see the first list and we have the logo of that plugin so let's grab this and now we have a first list again you can customize this so this is the list gap let's quickly make this 20 and this is a post list now again you can change the layout here show image show categories hide and so on let's go to style image and change its width also we will change its height So this is how you can control things and this is how you can create a blog post list. So everything is very simple you just need to install the plugin and then you can search for that thing and you can create that. The next one is the first ticker so let's quickly check this also. We will create another heading. And I will call this post ticker. Now we will search for that. As you can see post sticker I'll just simply drag this and now we have this post sticker basically these are the blog posts inside this sticker and we can change this by going to style this is the label so I'll simply call this something like recent post I can also change the background color, the text color and so on inside the style tab. For example, this is the background for the label, so I'll change this to this color. So as you can see the background color changed and that is how you can customize this. The next one is the tabs. So again, we will create a title. And 
and I'll call this blog post tabs and I'll search for tabs and you can see post tabs so I'll simply drag this and now we have tabs for our blog posts again you can customize things according to your need and not go in much details here you can style things this is the tab bar the tab items so let's go to tab item and this is the title color the tab background is white and so on tab item and hour and tab active now this is an active tab so i'll change its background color and we'll change its color also i mean the text color so now this is the active one and these are not the active ones so let's make this active and this is how you can customize things according to your need and the next one is this post recording so let's quickly create that as well i'll copy this we'll paste it and we'll call this post recording now i'll search for that recording and you will see post recording so just drag this and now we have all of our post inside the recording we can reach to any of these we have the title the description the images and so on so this is how you can create a post recording inside the free version of elementor let's update the page and preview this so as you can see we have a blog post grid we have a carousel a blog post list blog post sticker and blog post tabs and according and the last one here is this timeline so i already have a detailed video about this timeline where we created this timeline where we style this and for this we will need another free plugin so please watch that video for creating this type of timeline i'll put the link in the description and also in the card so that is how you can create different layouts for your blog post grid inside the elementor either that is a blog post grid a carousel tabs and so on so i hope the video will help you if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next